On the last video. I think that's an altar. I think that's an altar. I think, I think, I think, I think. That's unfair! And so it continues. Uh, oh, I can go up there. I didn't even notice that. I thought that was like a broken staircase. Alright. Whoa! Okay. Good job. Good. Proud of you, April Ryan. Oh, can I drop those vines down and strangle them? That would be amazing. Can I do it? Oh, what's this? Oh, that's not strangling them at all. Ah, well, it'll have to do. Uh, down. Oh. I'm just being stealthy. Not being murderous and stealthy. Just one of those two. Okay. Bye, friend. I'm gonna go uh, check out what you've been guarding horribly. A little, little bit more, I think. I don't want to risk it. If I risk it, I'm gonna be very upset because it's not gonna work out. Alright, now I can risk it. By the balance, what is this place? We'll need to step up the testing soon if we hope to get enough data to go by. The limited trials have wielded interesting results, but a few hundred subjects won't exactly tax the system. I understand. And you think the Dream Corps will be able to handle that? She'll have to, Miss Gilmore. There's no question that I'm gonna... What's that? I'm not... Wait. There's been a sudden surge of energy inside DreamNet. I don't know if it's emanating from the core or from some externals. The core room will go into lockdown. You need to get out of here, Miss Gilmore. Or you'll be stuck until the facility's being cleared and DreamNet checked for intrusions. And that could take the whole night. But... Uh... We need to get you out of here, Miss Gilmore. Right now. You two are staying put. I want a full update once the lockdown has been lifted. Yes, Miss Gilmore. Be advised that lockdown will go into effect soon. Okay. And security has been I gotta leave. To do a full sweep of the facility. I gotta get out of here. Lockdown. Let me jump. T minus sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. Please evacuate the core. Ah, shoot. All right. Fine. I'll just bum rush it. Let's go. All right. I don't even think that scientists are up here. All right. Fine. Okay. Maybe I can go take the elevator. What am oh yeah, that thing. Hurry up! Uncontaminate me. Thank you. All right. The call room is entering lockdown. Go. Please step away from. Do I go through here? Entrances. No. This is okay. your final warning. I know it's my final warning. I'm trying. The call is under lockdown. I know it's under Proceed lockdown. To elevator to vacate uh, the premises. Okay. Okay. Come on, Zoe. Elevators. Lockdown is in you, effect. I, All non-essential personnel you, must vacate the core uh, immediately. I know. I know the elevators are there. Oh shit. All right, boys, Please move out to the nearest elevator. That's really bad. Um. You two head in that direction, All and you're with personnel me. Personnel we'll head the other way and regroup on the other side. Go. And report to their assigned security Shoot. station Shoot. immediately. Okay. I'm gonna need to hide in here. Okay. They're not gonna find me because they're really bad SWAT men, right? Yeah? Do that... a sweep of that office. Don't yes, do sir. a sweep of the general direction of here. Go, 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 go. They won't see me, they won't see me, they won't see me. Come on, keep going. Keep going. I got a lot of nothing in there, Shit! Okay. 
We're gonna take a right this time, and we're not gonna fuck up, right? Right? I hope so. The call I'm tired of fucking lock. up. Let's Are they gonna be... Okay, they're right there. Shoot. Come on. Right here. Okay. No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Wrong way, right here. Good. Now, you stand there. You stand there like a silly person, and you wait for them to pass. Okay? Please do that. Because this, this is ridiculous. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. Thank you. Good lord. And they're gone. Okay. Now we can finally get out. Jesus. That was unnecessary. But whatever. I did just totally could fuck up their entire system, so I guess they were kind of on a high and strong edge. Let's get out of here. to do. She doesn't need to be saved. Save me. Oh. Alright, cool. Now they know what floor I'm on, so Morpheus. Alright, whatever that means. in here. It's green and birds and shit. I like it. What's this? Those flowers are beautiful. They are beautiful. This is everything else. Why did Corpy got some good shit? What the hell? What? Stop. Stop! Don't come any closer. How'd you get here? Who are you? You're not supposed to be up here. This floor's restricted. Leave. Now! Um... What the hell are you, man? I'm, I'm not gonna get mad at you. I'm just gonna be bluntly curious about your whole situation. What is this place? I see it. Leave, right? Wait. Wait. I recognize you. You're that girl. The one from Casablanca. The one who was with that awful reporter. Yeah, that, uh... That's me. I'm Zoe. What do you know about Reza? Yes, yes, you're the one. The pretty one with the big brown eyes. I recognize your scent and your voice. My scent? You don't know how blind you really are until you can recognize a person by his or her scent. I smelled you in that reporter's apartment. Outside, too, when you left. You followed him here. Why did you do that? Is it love? How could you... Oh, the cat... I knew there was something about that cat. My pets are everywhere. You can't escape them. I may be blind and deaf, but I see and hear everything. What did you do to Reza? Reza? The reporter? The one who calls himself Jericho the pump of shit. If you seek to destroy what I've spent my life creating, You'd better come prepared. Your friend, he was not prepared. 
when he hooked himself up to the dreamer, I saw him. All of him. And I fed on him. You were in there, in his head, in his dreams. All of you. Naked, writhing, alive, sweating, mooning. I enjoyed that. Uh, it made me hard. Where is he? Oh what have you done to him, you monster? Uh, he's in a very dark place. His dreams are gone. I took them. But why can't I take yours? Hmm? What makes you so special? <laughs> this dude is fucking crazy. I love it. Uh, what, what, what do you mean by special? Special? What do you mean? My pets put you into dreamland, but I couldn't enter you. Your dreams were closed to me. That's never happened before. That makes you very, very special. Your friend, on the other hand, the one who loved you, the one who made love to you, he wasn't so special, he was like the others. What did you do to him? Tell me. I hate his dreams. He's dead. You can't save him now. No. Reza's not... He can't be. You're lying. He's alive. I know it. You piece of shit. Tell me where Reza is now. No! If you come closer, I'll... I'll have you destroyed. I'll have you torn to pieces, bit by bit. I don't want to destroy you. I, I, I want to learn from you. What? You're different from the others. And you're connected to that fucking girl, the one who's destroying my web. You will stay, and I will study you. Is that so? What's going to stop me from ripping those cables from your body right now? Will you survive that, you... you monster? Don't you dare! Oh, finally. My most treasured pets are here. We'll take good care of you, I promise. You'll stay here with me, Zoe. And together we will explore that mind of yours. Your thoughts and dreams will open up to me like a book, and I will read them all. I will find out who you are. I will find out what you're doing to me. You're not getting me, and I'll be back for you, I promise. Do you know who I am? Do you? I created this place. I created this company. I am this company. I see everything. I know everything. I know that you're working with that horrible diseased child. Her infection spreads across my web like... like weed in a garden. My beautiful garden. She... she makes me blind again. Deaf. Lost. Trapped in the dark. I won't let that happen again. I'm not going back into the darkness. Never. Never. Hi. Never. Take Time to run! Goodbye, ladies and mayor we gentlemen. He's kind of an odd fella. Oh fuck. Wait! Oh! That was horrible! You slapped me in the face! Okay, I'm gonna go escape from you now. You have a good time. Down here! Alright. Can I, like, tip these over so they gotta run over it? Probably not. Here! Good! Keep going, cause their chase music is still on! What's that flying thing? It's weird looking. I don't like it. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, it's a, like a hedge trimmer. Get on it. it might be able to carry me down to the street. It might be able Get to carry it. me down to the street. There. Be a real leap of faith. It's a long way down. 
It is. Good job. Hello? Uh, who's this? Damien? It's Zoe. Zoe, thank God. I'm so relieved to hear your voice. Are you okay? Where are you? Um, I, uh... Um, I'm good. I'm okay. I made it out in one piece. I want to get as far away from this place as possible. You can crash at my place tonight. There's not a lot of space, but uh, you'll be safe there. Thanks. That sounds perfect. I could definitely use a shower and a change of clothes. I'll try and guide you to a place where we can meet. The first thing you need to do is find the boardwalk. Alright, I can do that. It does sound as though the Azadi have plans with this tower, April on, but I cannot see what that would be. They claim to shun magic, even though this technology of theirs relies on it. Maybe the tower is such a device, a magical machine. Maybe it's a weapon. I got the sense that it was very important that they make their deadline. From what little I know of the Azadi, they have never previously built such a thing, but it is possible. They have powerful thermatologists, these Westlanders. And I suspect that their hostility to magic comes from their wish to control it, and their fear that others may know more about magic than they do. As for this place you discovered deep below us, this chamber of dreams. I'm not sure that's the right word, but I don't know how else to describe it. I could hear the voices of thousands of people around me. I'm sure it's connected to the tower. The chamber appears to be located right below it, and the man I followed from the tower led me there. This worries me, April On. Dreams are powerful things. Combined with this Azadi machine, if that is what it is, it could have serious consequences. I shall send word to my blood sister in Irhad. She has connections in the strangest of places. Maybe she knows more. I would also have liked to see this chamber with my own eyes. Perhaps then, I would understand more. I tried going back through, but the rock's solid. There's half a mile of mountain between us and the caves. Without the portal, there's no way down there. I will look at the wall in the cellar where you said the portal opened up. Perhaps I can learn how this musical magic works. I must say that I am intrigued. It reminds me a great deal of Bonda magic. They sing to the earth to dig their tunnels. The Banda songs do not work on rock, but the magic could still be related. Keep this under wraps, Na'ane. Don't let anyone get wind of what you're doing, not even Benrime. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. Of course. I shall be cautious. Perhaps this is the opportunity we have been praying for, if we do not soon find a weakness in the Azadi front. Positive. Because the hope is important. And I like you. And we keep fighting them with the weapons we already have. What else can we do? I am not suggesting we lay down our arms, April on. But we are fast dwindling in numbers. Not a day goes by when someone is not killed, captured, and sent west to an unknown fate, or abandons the cause. We may soon need an alternative to force. There are many, we are few, and the Azadi support among the common people grows daily. We're not dead yet, Na'ane, and it might be that this new information will help us. If that tower is as important as I suspect it is, we have a new target. I'll talk to some contacts, see what they know and what they've heard. Tell Bren and Chuan to get the remaining supplies on their own. They'll need to leave tomorrow evening as planned. We can't afford any delays. Will you not go with them? I haven't decided yet. It depends on what information I manage to dig up. If I get a lead, I'll have to follow it. So be it. I may wait for you, but I will leave a message with Benrime if I, too, set course for home. May the stars guide you, April on. We will see each other again soon. May the stars guide you as well. You are a lady, you have swords and a robe. Very important things there. This is the way to go. 
This is the way to go. Go. Hmm. Benrime? Smack her on the keister. Benrime? So, child, did you find that person you were looking for last evening? What? Oh, no, I... No. What's the matter? You seem distracted. I'm okay, Benrime. All right. Well, the day is getting on. If there's anything you need, come see me. Actually, Benrime, there is something. I'm confused. About what, child? I'm not sure what to do, and I... I would appreciate your advice. I see. Well, child, I'll do the best I can, though I'm no wise woman. What's wrong? I think something's going on. Something potentially bad. Something involving the balance between the twin worlds. Ah. Does this have anything to do with that nice young woman from Stark? Zoe, was it? It may. It does. But I can't tell you all the details. I don't even understand what's going on. I'm just worried that I might be involved somehow. I see. And you would prefer not to be involved. I've done my share for the balance, and I have more pressing concerns. People depend on me. Yes, they do. But that is no excuse. I'm not looking for excuses. I'm looking for answers. I want to... I need to know what I'm supposed to do this time. Such answers aren't always easy to come by, April. Often, we have to rely on faith alone to carry us through. Still... I understand that you want something more concrete than that. I am so tall! Very well. Here's my advice. You must speak with the Guardian of the Balance. I've thought the same thing, but it's impossible. I can't shift anymore, and even if I could, the Guardian's realm is closed to me. Maybe so, and maybe not. There is someone out there who might be able to help you. Who? An old friend of yours. The White of the Drake Kin the white dragon you're right if anyone can help me contact the guardian it's her but i don't know where she is she vanished just after she was born you are april ryan i'm certain that someone in this city can help you locate her have faith in yourself and in the balance i had faith once been Rime. look where it got me what's left of the person i used to be i still see the same girl who walked through that door a decade past i'm not her anymore I don't even remember what she was like. Now I'm just... Well, I'll be damned. April Bloody Ryan. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Who? Brian? Brian Westhouse? The very same. <laughs> God damn, I can't believe it's you. How the hell are you? I, I feel like I know this man. Be open with him. I'm doing okay. How are you? You're looking pretty good for someone I thought was dead. Well, likewise. I mean, I, I knew you survived the Tyrant invasion and the events that followed, but then... nothing. I've been traveling. You? The same. I've been back to Mercurio a few times, but I've never stayed long. Oh, I reckon the invasion got me thinking about how much I hadn't seen and experienced Besides, my head was stuck in the bottle, so time was ripe for a change of pace. And a uh, change of pace I got. I've been to the four corners of the world, quite literally. So what are you doing at the Journeyman? Just revisiting old haunts, and hoping to score a cup of Ben Rime's mulled wine, of course. How about yourself? Same thing. I'm in the city for only a few days. Well... Even more fortuitous that we bumped into each other then. Oh. Maybe he could help me, or I'm interested to find out where he's been. Hmm. Well, I can always trust a man with glasses and or goatee. Also a scarf thing. Definitely. Speaking of coincidences, maybe you can help me with something. Absolutely. What do you need? There's something going on. Something that may be affecting both worlds. Why, Ms. Ryan, you seem to get drawn into these things every time. Can you be any more specific? It's more a feeling than anything else, so I need to confirm my suspicions. Or, preferably, disprove them. I need to speak with the Guardian. 
Who better to tell you if anything's happening with the balance? So, why not just shift there? I can't. I don't... I've lost the power to shift. But it was never that easy to get to the Guardian's realm in the first place. So to find the Guardian, I need a little help from someone else. The White Dragon. Oh, yes. I'd imagine she could give you some pointers. The problem is, I don't know where to find her. She could be anywhere. Not so. I may know where to find her. I met a fellow traveler, a Dolmari from the Rose Court, actually, on a ship from Gien to Irhad not long ago. He told me he'd been to the Dark People's Library. Not many people are allowed there, and it was a great privilege. While he was there, however, he said that he was introduced to a pale, white-haired woman who introduced herself as the White of the Dry Kin. Now, I don't know if she's still there or how you'll get to the Dark People's City, but it should at least get you on the right path. It does. Thank you, Brian. This is very helpful. You know what? I like you, Brian. Tell me more about your backstory. So you've been traveling for the past decade? I have, and I intend to keep traveling for the next decade or two, as long as I have my health. This world is fascinating. You look so much better since the last time I met you. Younger, healthier, happier. I do feel fantastic. I was bitter and angry back then. Angry at myself at being stuck in this world. Now I don't see Arcadia as a prison anymore. I see it as an opportunity to grow and learn and experience. I'd forgotten why I crossed the divide in the first place. I wanted to go where few had gone, where there were still untrodden paths. Losing my home, being forced to run, it was certainly an awakening and one I sorely needed. It was good seeing you again. Are you staying long? Another week, perhaps. Enough time to visit friends and to pick up some things that I can't get elsewhere in this world. Then it's off to sea again. I've been thinking about heading east, perhaps convincing a whale rider to take me along on a hunt. Sounds exciting. Take care, Brian. And you, Ms. Ryan? April. Now, I have business with the innkeeper. So, how about it, Ben Rime? Do you have a cup or four of your mulled wine to spare for an old drunkard? As I remember at Westhouse, you still owe me money on your tab from before the war. <laughs> My god, you have the memory of a stick man. Miss Salmon, I've honestly missed this place. Hell, <laughs> you're probably right. I owed a lot of people money back then. Uh, seeing as I'm still a bit short on cash, you'll have to add this to my tab, but I'm coming into some gold tomorrow. Old debts repaid, so uh, I'll settle it then. That'll be the day the Azadi decide to just up and leave. Money first, mulled wine after. You're a tough woman, and I respect that. Ah, I, I have to tell you about this tavern I visited in a town near Altaban. I love you. You just seem like the ghost guy. I want to be your friend. I already am your friend. This is a great day. <laughs> <laughs>